Alex, so this is the first time you've been in Macon during the Cherry Blossom Festival. Yeah. Have you been able to check it out yet? Not yet. So I was outside in Macon yesterday. I didn't yeah. make my way quite downtown just yet, but I'm planning on going Monday and Tuesday, and it's a good thing that those are my days to go because yeah. Wednesday things begin to change in Macon. So you're looking live at Perry right now. The current temperature is falling down through the 40s, down to 48 now in Houston County with courtesy of that north northwest wind at three miles an hour. The radar is taking a break tonight, tomorrow and Tuesday. That will begin to change on Wednesday. Current temperatures across the region, 49 in Bleckley County, 53 over in Montezuma, 48 in Thomaston at this hour, 46 in Macon and in Gordon. Across the southeast, it's a fairly cool night. 50 in Chattanooga, uh, got 53 Montgomery, 61 still in Little Rock. In fact, it looks like Macon is actually the coolest spot on the map there at 46 degrees, 53 up in Charlotte, North Carolina right now. So as we head through the overnight hours, falling down into the low 40s, certainly not as cold as we got last weekend, not talking about 30s or 20s. So a cool start to the work and school week across the area. Then once we get into Monday afternoon, maybe a few clouds, temperatures warming nicely into the 70s. So like I was saying, the Cherry Blossom Festival, Monday and Tuesday, two great days to go out and enjoy it. Starting the day on Tuesday, temperatures not quite as cool as we're getting tonight or Monday night is 51 uh, there for Tuesday morning, 50 in Warner Robins as 55 down in Cordial. But Tuesday, kind of our transitional day. Notice we get closer to 80. That's for sure. I don't think we touch 80 quite, but notice this wind coming out of the south. That is going to be indicative of our next weather system approaching and really destabilizing our atmosphere. This is Tuesday evening. Now let's roll the clock forward into Wednesday. Notice some storms uh, right along Interstate 85. This is Wednesday at midnight. And once we get Wednesday through the day, those storms will be arriving here in central Georgia. So we do now have a level four risk out for areas in Mississippi and Louisiana. I want to point out that this is on Tuesday and you're probably going to see a lot about this, but the storms that are coming across Mississippi and Alabama will pose a significant severe weather risk out there. They will pose a risk here, though I don't think it is anywhere near as great as it's going to be in parts of Mississippi and Louisiana. Level four risk from Jacksonville down towards Alexandria and closer to New Orleans. For us here in central Georgia, Georgia. We're still four days out from the event technically, which means we don't get the one, two, three, four, five. It's just the Storm Prediction Center outlines the general area, and we are in that area for Wednesday. I wouldn't be surprised if we see a few severe storms uh, before all is said and done. So the model is in pretty good agreement that the line comes through through the day on Wednesday, so a daytime event as opposed to a nighttime event, and then out of here by the time we get to Thursday afternoon and Friday morning. And then we get into the weekend, and we are looking at a clear weekend across central Georgia to round out the cherry blossom. Festival. So what you need to know now, the better severe weather setup is to the west, but still the potential for strong storms in central Georgia. Things will become more clear on the details over the next 24 hours or so. Could pick up some rainfall out of this as well. Anywhere from an inch to two inches will be possible, especially the further south you go. Tonight, headed down for an overnight low of 41 under some mostly clear skies. That's a bit below the average. We should be in about the middle 40s for this time of year. 72 right on the dot tomorrow. Plenty of sun to go around. Winds out of the east about 5 to 10 miles an hour. The seven-day forecast shapes up like this. Going with a 90% chance of rain now for Wednesday and then temperatures falling back off to closer to where they should be, if not just a bit below as we head into next week. And Connor Hines, the Braves making moves. Huh, that's one way to put it.